Hello and welcome back to At The Bench with Norwegian Biotech. Today, we will be going over the step-by-step -step workflow of the Plasma Serum Exosome Purification and RNA Isolation Mini Kit, catalog number 58300. As always, before you begin, sterilize your workspace and instruments with 70% ethanol, followed by 1% bleach. Upon opening the kit, you will find a detailed product insert, 1.7 milliliter elution tubes, mini spin columns, mini filter spin columns, wash solution A, slurry E, lysis buffer A, exo R buffer, elution solution A, exo C buffer, and lysis additive B, Frozen plasma serum samples should be centrifuged for 2 minutes at 400 G or 2000 RPM before processing. It is highly recommended to warm up lysis buffer A at 60 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes and mix well until the solutions become clear again if precipitates are present. Prepare a working concentration of wash solution A by adding 90 milliliters of 96 to 100% ethanol to the supplied bottle containing 38 milliliters of concentrated wash solution A. This will give a final volume of 128 milliliters. Place your frozen plasma serum at 4 degrees Celsius to thaw. After thawing your plasma serum sample, aliquot the volume to be processed and centrifuge at 2 minutes at 400 G or 2000 RPM. After centrifugation, transfer the clear plasma serum supernatant to a fresh tube. Cell-free plasma serum is now ready for exosomes purification. To 1 ml plasma serum, add 3 ml of nuclease-free water, followed by the addition of 100 microliters of exo-C buffer. Note that the final volume of any plasma serum sample to be processed should be 4 milliliters before the addition of the specified 100 microliters of exo-C buffer. To the mixture from step 1, add 200 microliters of slurry E. Note that you should mix slurry E well prior to use. For optimal performance, ensure that resin is completely resuspended. Mix well by vortexing for 10 seconds. And let's stand at room temperature for 5 minutes. Mix well by vortexing for 10 seconds. Centrifuge for 2 minutes at 2000 RPM. Discard the supernatant. Apply 200 microliters of exo R buffer to the slurry pellet. and mix well by vortexing for 10 seconds. Incubate the slurry pellet resuspended in the 200 microliter exo R buffer at room temperature for five minutes. After incubation, mix well by vortexing for 10 seconds. Then centrifuge for two minutes at 500 RPM. Transfer the supernatant to a mini filter spin column assembled with an elution tube. and centrifuge for one minute at 6,000 RPM. Do not discard the flow through which contains your purified exosomes. Your exosomes are now ready for RNA isolation or any other downstream applications. Add 300 microliters of lysis buffer A and 37.5 microliters of lysis additive B to the 200 microliter exo R buffer containing the purified exosomes. Mix well by vortexing for 10 seconds, then incubate at room temperature for 10 minutes. After incubation, add 500 microliters of 96 to 100% ethanol to the mixture from step two, and mix well by vortexing for 10 seconds. Transfer 500 microliters of the mixture from step 3 into a mini spin column. Centrifuge for 1 minute at 3300 G or 6000 RPM. Discard the flow through 
and reassemble the spin column with its collection tube. Repeat step 4 one more time to transfer the remaining mixture from step 3 into the mini spin column. Apply 600 microliters of wash solution A to the column. And centrifuge for 30 seconds at 3300 G or 6000 RPM. Discard the flow through and reassemble the spin column with its collection tube. Repeat step 6 one more time for a total of two washes. Spin the column empty for one minute at 13,000 G or 14,000 RPM. Discard the collection tube. Transfer the spin column to a fresh 1.7 milliliter elution tube. Apply 50 microliters of Aleutian Solution A to the column and centrifuge for one minute at 2,000 RPM, followed by two minutes at 8,000 RPM. For maximum recovery, transfer the eluted buffer back to the column and let stand at room temperature for two minutes. Centrifuge for 1 minute at 400 G or 2000 RPM. Followed by 2 minutes at 5800 G or 8000 RPM. Exosomal RNA is now ready for downstream applications. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And remember to follow us on all of your favorite social media platforms. See you next time at the bench.